Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, this video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be covering Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. Welcome back to the underrated game series, what is it, number five right now? And uh, I know that there are a lot of underrated games out there, guys, but bear with me. We'll get through basically all of the underrated games in my collection, and hopefully you guys can comment down below with some games to suggest for other people to check out that are, you know what, flying under the radar for most people. So we're going to start off with LEGO Racers for the N64, released 1999 by LEGO Media. And this is a great game. It's actually uh, a kart racer, of course, but you get to build it with LEGOs. And I've always been a fan of LEGOs as a kid. And there's, you know, a lot of fun and a, a lot of different ways that you can build out your car and gain certain advantages and stuff like that with it. And it's, it's really a blast, um, although you really, really need a memory card for the N64 to play this game. Otherwise, it's a whole lot of work. And then as soon as you're done playing and turn it off, everything you did is gone. So I have to say that having a memory card is a must. So speaking of racers and stuff, uh, Penny Racers on the N64 was released in 1999 by THQ. Uh, I took a chance on this game renting it from Blockbuster, although it wasn't that much of a chance. I wasn't risking much. I just uh, took one of my free rentals from working there and just took the game home for three nights. And you know what? I had a blast. Although right now you can definitely tell that I'm a little bit rusty in this game. And uh, I'm going to come back and revisit it with uh, probably a controller that's in better shape just to see if I can do a little bit better. Next up, we have Star Soldier Vanishing Earth on the N64 1998 by Electrobrain. Now, <clears throat> I don't think there's really that many schmups. Really, I, I think there's only just like this one and Sin and Punishment. And Sin and Punishment didn't make it out to the US. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the only one. And I'm a big shmup fan and the N64 was definitely not known for shmups. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy shoot 'em ups, pick this up. So, we're going to move on to the PlayStation 1. Uh, first one is Alundra 1998 by Working Designs. Alundra is this really good uh, Zelda style clone where it's more platforming and puzzle solving and, and like box shattering and box moving and stuff like that. Um, really good cinematics, really good story, and honestly, I, I don't think that it gets the, uh, you know, the love that it deserves. Now, <clears throat> speaking of games that do not get any love, Battle Hunter. It was released 2001 by Age Tech. This was when the PlayStation 2 was out and the PlayStation 1 was coming out with these super low-end budget titles like uh it had fairly generic covers and stuff like that but guys this game is great it's a great party game um you roll dice to move around you use cards to help boost your dice um you're you're hunting for treasure you're leveling up your guys you're buying stats um <clears throat> you know and it's really really cutthroat amongst the players until the big bad shows up and then everybody is suddenly you know cheering for everyone to get to the exit and get out of there and so that everyone lives because this game is really punishing if you die and uh, i i think it's great i think it's uh, a little quirky and has a lot of fun you can do player versus player you can play against the cpu uh, but honestly, if that, bit, if that big bad shows up, you better start running. Uh, speaking of big bads, we're going to move on to Bloody Roar on the PlayStation 1, released 1997 by SCEA. Um, <clears throat> this game was one of my favorite 3D fighters. 
Now, I did kind of get into uh, fighting vipers and stuff in the arcades, but it, it never really clicked with me. For some reason, uh, Bloody Roar really, really clicked for me. It, it was the music and the story and honestly the fact that I lucked into playing long for the character long uh, for the first time and man that character fit my style now I did eventually branch out and start playing other characters but definitely long is my main and yes yes I know he's cheesy but it's a lot of fun uh, it's fairly unknown the series had a little bit of a surgence all the way through the PlayStation 2 and some with the Xbox and stuff like that but after that the series kind of died off a little bit and I'm really hoping that one day it'll come back but the original PlayStation 1 Bloody Roar is a great game and I highly suggest that you go pick it up um, guys if there are any games out there you know that that you would suggest for me or for anybody else you know what we're all here we're all gamers we're all here to help each other find new and interesting games to play leave them in the comments below um you know tell me if you agree with my picks tell me if you disagree with my picks but you know just uh just let me know what's up you know uh, have a great day well that's it for this episode of mundane designs i'm your host mundane I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.